Hi, welcome to Intimat. This is grade seven, lesson five. And we're talking about absolute value and adding, subtracting positive and negative numbers. So an absolute value of a number is a distance that that number is away on a number line from the origin. So if you have a number line and the distance from zero to the point is four, the absolute value is four. And if the point is located at negative four, the distance is still four. Therefore, for any negative and positive number, the absolute value of that number is just the distance from the origin to where that number is located on a number line. In order to add two negative numbers, add their absolute value and put a negative sign in front of the sum, like this. Negative eight plus negative two equals negative 10. On the number line, it looks like this. Say this is the origin, this is zero, and I start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at negative eight. This is my first point. And then I'm adding two in the negative direction to this point. So I'm moving to the left. One, two, which brings me to negative 10. And that's exactly what we got when we added the two negative numbers together. In order to add uh, two numbers with opposite signs, subtract the number with a lesser absolute value from a number with a greater absolute value and put the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. For example, if you have negative 5 plus positive 6, then I'm subtracting 5 from 6 because 5 is a lesser absolute value and 6 is a greater absolute value, which gives me 1. And the number with the greater absolute value is positive. So the final answer is positive. If, say, I have negative 3 plus 2, then I'm subtracting their absolute values, 3 minus 2, which is 1. And the number with the greater absolute value is negative. So I'll put a negative in my sum. When subtracting two numbers, add a number with an opposite sign, like this. 2 minus 1 is the same as 2 plus negative 1 or 2 minus negative 1 is the same as 2 plus positive 1. This is it for this lesson. Uh, go practice a little and then move on to lesson 6 of grade 7. See you next time!